Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today I want to share with you a new and an interesting way, easier way, to update your Zygu G106 firmware. We already did a video on how to update the G106 firmware the Zygu way. Now we're going to do one the ham way. If you want to see the old-fashioned way, there's a link right above on how to do that one. But for this, we're going to need Dale Farnsworth's excellent utility called G106 Update Firmware. And if you go to this URL, there's a link in the description down below to make it easy for you to type in. You don't have to, you just have to click. You will see the software here, Zygu G90 and Zygu G106 firmware updater. That is because the two radios use very, very, very similar processes, just different in one or two little aspects. And so Dale and I had to work together to create a new version of the firmware updater. And so it's actually the same executable for both radios and it will detect based on the file name that you give it, which method it should use in order to do the update. So let's go ahead and download for our computer. You can find this for your computer, for your operating system, almost regardless of what your operating system is. There are Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Raspberry Pi, 32-bit and 64-bit, PowerPC, RISC-V, S390, et cetera, versions for this. So if you don't have one of those architectures, we probably can still find a way to help you out with your machine. I'm gonna get the Linux AMD 64 executable because I'm running on Linux Mint. Click the download button and we're given a download folder with the G106 and the G90 file. You can see they're the same date and time and the same file size. Again, it's because they're the exact same file, they just have different file names. I'm gonna click G106 version and it's gonna prompt me to put it in my downloads folder. I'm gonna create a new folder just to be neat and tidy called G106 and I'm gonna save it there. The next thing we're gonna need is some firmware to update with, right? So we're gonna go over to Zygu's website, cqzygu.com, and it's gonna show up in a language that you don't necessarily understand if you haven't been there before. So if you click this drop down on the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that English is a choice. So I'm gonna choose English, and the website becomes so much easier to read. In the top center, there's a download link. Click on the download link, and then there is G106 data download. And then this file here has EN, which is the universal two digit, two letter code for English. So that's the version that I want. And it's gonna ask me to download that. I'm gonna stick that in that G106 folder along with the utility, and we're gonna click save. And once that's saved, we need a terminal. I happen to have one right here for you. So I'm gonna go into my downloads folder, and I'm gonna go into the G106 folder that I created. You're gonna to need to install an UNRAR utility if you don't already have one. On Linux, it's super easy, sudo, apt install unrar and in my case you'll see that it's already been installed and now we can unrar the file let's take a look at what we have here unrar space x space g106 and if you hit the tab key with enough of the right characters in it'll automatically complete the file name for you and it has been extracted we've got release notes and we've got this .xgf file the xgf file is the actual firmware file let's see what's in those release notes improved speech intelligibility Okay, the next thing we need to do is take our G106 update firmware tool and change its permissions so that it's executable. CHMOD 755G106 update firmware. And now you'll be able to see that that is green instead of being white. So it's green here and it's white there. That's one way you can tell that something has changed, something's different. Okay, here's a quick way to connect your DE19. First, you're gonna need the multi-pin cable, I think this is eight, that comes with the DE19. Plug that into the accessory port. Then you'll need your TRS cable that goes into the CIV port. And then the USB cable, and it's USB-C on the DE19 end, and USB-A on the computer end. On the back of the radio, take your multi-pin connector and plug that into the accessory slot, and take your CIV cable and plug it into the COM port. Good to go. This also works with the Zygu blue or black cable that you get with other Zygu products, or you can get individually in a link in the description down below. Simply take the USB-A end of the cable and plug it into your computer, and the TRS end of the cable and plug it into the COM port on the back of the radio. Everything else is very, very similar. All right, we're all good to go with file permissions. And so what we need to do is figure out where our serial port is. So we do dmessage, D-M-E-S-G, and it will tell us that our CH341 UART converter is now attached to TTY USB 0. One of the other things you can do is dmessage W and then unplug and replug in the device. So if I unplug the DE19, it says disconnected. 
And if I plug it back in, I get a whole bunch of stuff on the screen that I didn't have before. And that last line is that it's now connected to TTY USB zero. Excellent. So now we know where it is. So we type in dot slash to run the file in the current directory, G106 update firmware. And then we need the firmware file name, which is going to be G106 FW dot FW v1.2b02.xgf and then we need the device slash dev slash tty usb zero and again all of these commands will be in the description down below i'm just giving you a little bit of more information to maybe help make some of this make more sense for you so we run the tool and it says disconnect power from radio reconnect power to radio press volume button and while holding it in press the power button until the radio begins erasing the existing firmware all right let's do that Pull the power plug, insert the power plug, push in the volume key, push in the power button. And then it says, waiting for wait FW file. It starts erasing the firmware, and then it starts uploading the new firmware. Please disconnect power cable and connect it later. I'm gonna connect it right away. All right, it comes right up and is ready to rock and roll. Love it. As my friends in Australia would say, easy as. So there you have it, folks, a new and easy way to update the firmware on your Zygu G106. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because I always cover the firmware updates when they come out, and hopefully that helps you so that you don't have to worry about hunting them down yourself. There is a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.